These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Bruce via Wiser Now. We had information coming in from Iraq saying that, yes, they did put the budget in the Gazette for 2021 on Saturday. Monday, I believe they were going to have a session in Parliament to pass a law that would include the date of implementation of their budget. I believe that when they went through the budget, they found the rate that was in the budget was not as high as they wanted it to be to do additional projects and things in Iraq. So my understanding was that they readjusted that dinar rate upward to comply and to be able to use that within their budget. I also have a feeling that change will come out as an addendum to the budget. Remember, Printed Gazette goes out Saturday and Wednesday. I think you can call Iraq done. Everything appears to be done. All right, walking stick via Frank 26 and our strong opinion, the budget is calculated to a one-to-one -one rate. This budget with the rate does exist. We simply await for the budget to be released with these numbers. The numbers and the accounting of a one-to-one -one rate are already done. They're already in the budget and they will be retroactive to the beginning of this year. Frank 26, what's most important to you and me as investors of the Iraqi dinar is not the international rate which the CBI will soon enough release to give citizens better purchasing power, which we are suggesting one-to-one -to, -one to the American dollar. Uh, the budget is nice and the budget is in the Gazette, which now allows the CBI to play with the exchange rate. Do you think they're going to decrease the exchange rate? Of course not. Do you think they're going to increase it one-to-one -one with the American dollar? Yes. We have articles telling us they're going to do that. The budget being printed in the Gazette has unlocked the CBI to raise the rate inside internally, therefore giving the international growth of the Iraqi currency also more potential. All right, Pimpy, rumor has it that a special person's name we won't mention. Want you guys to send your dinar to him to get a special rate. I'm going to say to you the same thing about gold or silver. If you don't have it, you don't own it. Mark Z via PDK, is today the day? Uh, the answer is great, great question. We are certainly full of expectations. There is news from Iraq and to look for a mass information campaign coming from the CBI and GUI to inform people how this change works. Info about the lower denominations and how it will work in your accounts. I am being told by my contacts on the ground in Iraq that it could be any day. They say that posting the budget has taken the shackles off the central bank. It's now up to the CBI on timing. It could be any minute, any day, any week. It is imminent. We also have the Kurdistan region leaning on them to implement the budget and do it quickly. All right, Petra Kazimi came out last week and they said they need to get $90 billion in their reserves and they're only at 60. That kind of freaked everybody out. But if you think about it, if they were to come out with a strong rate, you've got to remember they've done currency swaps with a lot of other countries, Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Jordan, Qatar, a lot of GCC countries, they all hold dinar. If Iraq came out and kept their 1450, it would absolutely tank that Middle Eastern basket. All their currencies would drop. You know that's not going to happen. That's ridiculous. Uh, if they come out really strong with the rate when they do their revaluation, then all the Middle Eastern currencies that are the basket value increases. Iraq has their currencies because they did the swap, so guess what happens? The reserves inside of Iraq skyrocket. So to me, to cover that $30 billion is going to happen very, very quickly if it hasn't already happened. Not to mention the amount of funds that are out there that are going to go in, reappreciate, uh, and bring back into the country that were stolen, smuggled, or whatever. It's like $500 billion. Yeah, I don't think that's an issue at all. All right, Claire says, article quote, um, al Kazimi, we are working to launch a comprehensive investment campaign in Iraq. This is a huge article. Kazimi is actually making an announcement that will be work to launch a comprehensive investment campaign with the participation of Iraq and foreign investors. This must have the new rate, in my opinion. Uh, Guru Frank 26 told us about the educational campaign coming to the citizens. Uh, the CBI, GOI, are now going to put advertisements everywhere. TV, commercials, billboards, newspapers regarding the new currency they're about to put out and that there will be a new exchange rate for this currency. Uh, Guru Walking Stick gave us that information years ago because he knew it would be so at the end. 
and we are surely at the end now. In my opinion, it is obvious. All right. Walking stick via Frank 26. The CBI is now getting ready. They're about to put out information about the monetary reform to see what leaks out, and trust me, it will leak out. Uh, why would the CBI put out information about the monetary reform? And uh, Walking Stick says, to see what leaks out. The CBI for the last few years has watched everybody, especially from Parliament, in their own CBI structure. The CBI watched very carefully all those that put out negative information on the monetary reform. They know where the leaks are. Uh, the CBI is about to put out information about the monetary reform. One to one, the new small category notes all that stuff to see where it leaks out. And once they find where it's leaking out, they'll deal with it. All right. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK. Pimpy says no 800 numbers or redemption centers. Maybe Pimpy is just not well informed on this part. I know someone who personally helped set up a couple redemption centers. Uh, question, will the redemption centers be well-known names so we are not being duped? And the answer is absolutely. They will be mainstream banks and personnel that you will be dealing with when it is redemption time.